In this tutorial, we're going to talk about working with contours. Contours are really interesting, and I think they get oftentimes confused with an outline. So let's paint the difference between the two immediately, um, just to make it very clear when it's appropriate to use an outline and when it's appropriate to use a contour. So for the top uh, design here in Texas, we're going to create an outline stroke by going to the Outline Pen tool and selecting a uh, point size. So we'll assign an 8-point outline to this. And with the bottom uh, part of Texas, what we're going to do is we're going to assign a contour. So notice where my mouse is hovering. We have an interactive tool menu, and we want to go to that specific tool menu. So once I left mouse click, anytime you see a tool with a black little indicator at the very bottom right hand corner, that means there's some additional features there. So make sure to explore those. So what we want to do is we want to activate the contour tool. And once you activate that tool, notice how you have all of these controls here. We have presets, um, we have the ability to contour to the center, we have the ability to contour to the uh, inside or the outside. So whatever's relative to your project. So you can see as soon as we toggle to contour to the uh, outside, you can see we had three contour steps active. Well, maybe I want to reduce that to just one contour step, and you can see the change that's been made. Now we can also control the uh, contour offset, so we can increase this contour, make it really uh, robust. Uh, we can reduce it. It's just really a matter of what uh, is relative to your project. I'm not too concerned with color now because we can make those changes uh, as necessary as we progress. Uh, what we're going to do now is I really want to show the difference between a contour and an outline because at this point they may appear to be the same. However, if I go to the wireframe view, it will become apparent immediately what the difference is between the two. So as described in an earlier tutorial, an outline in CorelDRAW is basically behaves as a bitmap stroke, whereas a contour behaves immediately as a vector stroke. And a contour is unique because it really surrounds the outside of an object. And let's take that one step further in terms of bringing clarity to uh, the difference between the two. What I'm going to do now is, um, is I'm going to go to the, the contoured uh, Texas. And what I can do now is I can go to the Arrange menu, and I can say Break Contour Group Apart. And what that means is I can now control Texas, and I can control independently the contour. So those are two separate objects. So when I told you I wasn't too concerned about color, I can come back at any time and control the color of my contour and make modifications and changes to it as, as I see necessary. Uh, I can reposition to give this a little more dimension or uh, you know, whatever, whatever the project may call for. Uh, in contrast, as showed in an earlier tutorial, we can go uh, take an outline and I can go to Arrange and I can convert outline to an object and I have the opportunity to then use that outline independently as well. So that's really the difference uh, between the two, uh, is an outline just really outlines an object, whereas a contour surrounds uh, an object. And that describes the difference between the two. Now there's some really cool ways to do effects with uh, contouring, and I should point that out now since we're in this workspace. I'm just going to click on Texas uh, and leave the contour group alone. I can go back to the contour tool, and we can do some really radical things like contour to the inside, and we can do, say, 90 contour steps. And I'm going to really reduce uh, or radically increase the size between these uh, two groups here. So, in fact, let's change that now. And we can do some things like make it look like a neon glow effect, if you will. Let's put one extra zero in here. There's no magic number. Sometimes you just have to get in here and dial in to create different effects. We can do different colors as well, so I might want to you know, grab a different color in here. Let's just choose a blue. And if we zoom in here, you'll see how all of those, those contour steps kind of give a unique little effect here. In fact, I want to ratchet this up to 90 contour effects, and you can see how we can create like a little neon glow or a little dimension. It almost looks like a beveled corner or edge. So there's a lot of different ways to use these, uh, the contour tools in tandem. Now, some of the other ways to use uh, contours that I don't think are as precise uh, but nonetheless are available. If I draw a shape here, and we'll just color that red, um, I should also point this out when working with outlines. Anytime you have an object or a shape, notice how it has a black outline and then the fill. Well, to disable that black outline, you can go ahead and right mouse click on any of the X's, the sort of blank boxes where my mouse is now hovering, above your color palette. And as soon as I right mouse click on one of those, do you see how it just automatically removes the outline? That can be pretty important. So go back to our contour tool, and we can go back, and what I have the opportunity to do is I can actually click on my object and assign an interactive contour. Let's go back to a different color here. 
So once again, I can go and select and, uh, and just sort of dynamically and interactively control the contour uh, color blending. So you can see how I'm using this little control in the middle here to, to really uh, increase the blending of the contour, the two colors together. And you can see how we can create some pretty dynamic little uh, uh, you know, effects there. And if I go to the uh, view wireframe, and we zoom in here, you'll see how many of those contour steps we've created. In this particular design, there's 270 different contour steps. So you can see how it adds a lot of complexity to your design, uh, but at the same time, it, it can add some really dynamic effects. And that really uh, it explains the difference between outlines and contours.